Hi guys, today we are going to kick off my decorate with me's in my home. We're gonna do so many rooms, but I am gonna release them individually. But today is not only the decoration of my daughter's room, which I've only ever shared this room once in a house tour, and that was not even that long ago. Um, but two, it's also a collab with Traditions by the Seasons. Her name is Liz, she's amazing. And my subscribers actually told me about her. So thank you so much for finding such a gem on YouTube. Her decorating skills are out of this world. I didn't even know what I was missing in my life until I found her channel. She has inspired me so much and it's just inspiration is really such a powerful thing and I'm so thankful that you guys pointed me to her and I reached out to her and thought who better to do my very first collab with than Liz herself. And she is so incredibly sweet and kind and outgoing. And I was binge watching all of her videos and realized that she has four daughters. And I watched one video where she decorated her room. It was a nautical theme. So we decided to kind of double team up and do this collab and decorate our daughter's bedrooms. So mine is going to be a peppermint wonderland theme. And I believe hers is going to be a nautical theme. I will link that video down below for you guys. So please go check it out. And if you're here from Liz's uh, daughter's bedroom, decorate with me. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll show you guys how I decorated my daughter's room. By the way, she's 19 years old. Whoa, girl, I need a I need to settle down. She's 18 years old. She's almost 19 and she is off to college. So she's li she's living the dorm life right now. And I thought to myself, I'm really going to do it up in her room. I try to keep it a little bit more simple than I would normally do it just because she is a simple person. So I didn't want to, you know, I definitely had to keep her interest in mind when I decorated it, but I hope you love all the little touches that I did with that in mind. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, let's dive into this peppermint wonderland theme. So I've actually been doing this theme in her room for the last couple of years. It's been the, the one consistent theme that we've done throughout her, I guess, teenage years. Before the peppermint theme, we actually did like a gingerbread, almost like a Candyland theme actually, uh, more candy rather than, than gingerbread, I think. Um, but this one has stuck and she really likes it. And it's probably because she's, she really likes simple things. That's why if you're wondering like why her walls are so bare, she has like nothing up. It's because, well, one reason, because she just doesn't like a lot of things. And two, it's because some of what was there she took to college and it's in her dorm room so i definitely had to decorate with that in mind i didn't want her to feel overwhelmed with too much stuff because i love stuff like i love layering i love things and as a matter of fact speaking of uh following this video the day after will be the release of my bedroom makeover so you can see how i decorated that room so this video is being released on a Monday, which means that my bedroom makeover, the master bedroom, will be released the following day on Tuesday. So stay tuned for that. But as you see, I've been making the bed. It's the first thing that I tackle, and I did the same concept in my bedroom as well. And the reason why I do this is because it's the biggest piece of to decorate and it's also the focal point. I feel like it's the first thing I need to decorate so that way I can base off all of the little decorations around it. Um, so it's just a really important part for me to decorate first and I really loved how the sheets turned out. We did not do the sheets last year. There's a lot of things new that we didn't do the year before, like the peppermint um, throw. Um, some of the pillows we had from last year but some of them are new and then those red and white striped sheets i really think just set it off and took it to i well i don't know that it took it to a whole new level but it definitely wrapped it up in a pretty bow i also feel like putting together this peppermint wonderland theme worked out kind of well for me just because her furniture was gray and you saw that there were those the gray color in the blanket so it tied the furniture all in nicely together and then her everyday comforter was already white so it just you know just complemented the sheets and and the pillows and the tree but you can see that her desk chair is like a teal green color um so 
you know, there's that, but you could always drape a blanket if something like that um, bothers you. You really just want to be cohesive as much as possible, but I, I didn't mind. I was like, I'm just going to leave the chair as is, but we're not talking about the chair right now. We're looking at ornaments. So I'm showing you guys all the ornaments, and a lot of them are actually Dollar Tree. The snowmen are from Dollar Tree. They're not stunning. It's just out of this world. Some of the best ornaments honestly come from Dollar Tree. And whenever I'm decorating, I like to set out everything where I can see it. Um, because sometimes I just don't have a vision of where I'm going to set things. But if I display it all, see all of my options, it helps me to decorate. I don't always nail it the first time. Sometimes I have to redo things. Um, but that's what I did with the ornaments. I wanted to see all of my options and I didn't end up using all of it. Um, you can just kind of see what I selected. A lot of them, again, are Dollar Tree. It was probably more Dollar Tree than anything. Even those big white bulbs are Dollar Tree, and they actually light up. Um, and then the sticks at the top are from Hobby Lobby, and the little elf feet are also, I believe, from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm, I'm decorating the, the bed, which actually you're going to see that I changed up the pillows in the very end, but something just wasn't right about the pillows for me, so I added two big red pillows, but again, that will be a clip in the end. And then I'm decorating her little side table. I'm trying to keep it minimal, so I just threw up some red and white decor, and then the little ski bear is an ornament I gave to her a couple years ago, so she really loves it, so I wanted to make sure that he sat, you know, beside her bed. And when I pulled out my old stash of Christmas decor that went with her bedroom, I found the Santa hat and I thought, I have to decorate her books. She loves her books. And I just thought it was a cute little added touch. Plus the hat was the perfect color, the red and the white. And now I'm just decorating her TV stand. I just felt like it needed something because everything else had some sort of decoration going on. And I just found these lights in the storage bin. So I just scattered them on the tabletop and you could see I, I bought actually bought that red pom-pom for her bed frame, but her bed frame is not that tall because her mattress is so thick and it just didn't look right on her bed. But it, I also didn't like it by her TV, so I opted out for this garland. I just thought it was really cute and kind of broke up that red and white a little bit as well. And then I'm decorating this sofa sleeper. I'm not really sure what to call this. I mean, it's just basically a lounge chair, and you can see it's also gray, so it works in really nicely. A lot of these pillows that you're seeing here, we already have, with the exception of Mary Everything. That one is brand new. And then I brought in a gray blanket and then a red blanket to just pop up that peppermint theme. All of these little touches, I really think, took it to... Um, that wonderland that I was trying to create. I'm interrupting the voiceover to walk you guys through this piece right here. I just decided to throw up these snowflakes. They are from Dollar Tree and I just wanted to kind of fill up this space right here. She had Polaroid pictures but she took those with her as well. That's why the room is so incredibly empty but I just thought throwing up the snowflakes would make it look really cute and festive and I love how that turned out. And I made some updates to her bed as well and I'm sure you can just immediately just see the difference with the pom-pom trim at the end and then the two red pillows versus just the Merry Christmas and then the other little red one. I just didn't like the way that the pillow situation was happening and I think this is really, really adorable now and the pom-pom works really well at the foot of the bed. I originally bought this to put up here but she already had the lights strung up and as you can see her headboard is not that tall so the pom-poms would have just been smushed by the pillows but an easy solution by placing it at the foot of her bed and I really love it because there's red on that end and then there's red on this end so it just evens it out and just makes the bed overall pop really nicely and that's pretty much it now we're gonna get into the reveal and that concludes this video. I hope that you guys love um, how simple, I, I think this was a little simple, um, considering wait until you see my bedroom makeover, but I just love how it turned out and I really think that she will love it as well. And don't forget to go over to Liz's channel, Traditions by the Seasons, and check out how she decorated her daughter's bedroom. I've seen a clip and you guys, it is just stunning. You won't regret it. It just, it will take your breath away. Her, I'm telling you, her decorating skills 
are just they they baffle my mind it's just genius the way that she decorates i absolutely love it and i know that a lot of you guys are going to love it too so i will link that uh video down below for you guys and hopefully you guys will enjoy the collab and see the different styles between my peppermint and her traditional and we'll give you guys at least enough ideas to decorate your own spaces enjoyed I will link everything down below on where I got everything I'll even include um, the information on her furniture so that will all be listed down below thank you guys so much for watching and for coming over from Liz's channel and hopefully I'll see you guys in another video bye